Hello, everyone. Um, Ramadan Mubarak to everybody who's celebrating. I just wanted to say that this is really special for. So, right over there, we have Sister Hada and Basmala, who we love. We were actually just in Morocco recently. Sister Hada is actually Moroccan and showed us a really great time there. And we're here, you know, we're actually, we left our cooking at home for Ramadan. We have two hours to break our fast. And we left it because we thought it was so important to show up for our community. Vermont constantly praises itself for including people of color and being diverse and welcoming and all. I can, how many all are welcome signs can we see around this neighborhood? But then we look at one of the only, at the only Moroccan spot in the whole state, one of the very few people of color own businesses in the whole state, and you're increasing the rent by 150%. That's not all are welcome to me. And during the holiest month in the year, when we're fasting, when we can't eat or drink, we're getting closer and closer to the last 10 days, which are so holy to us. That's not all are welcome. And, and to do that to a local owned restaurant in one of the most diverse neighborhoods in Vermont, is just shameful. So I just want to say like we came through during Ramadan because this is important to us. And if you hurt one person in Vermont, one person in our community in Vermont, you hurt all of us. So we're here for that reason. Thank you all for being here. And Ramadan Mubarak to anyone who's celebrating. Thank you. Um, hi all, my name is Julie Masuga, she or they pronouns are good. Uh, I'm just here as a member of this community trying to support my neighbors. I just want to remind folks to please be considerate of whatever wishes the folks at Little Morocco express as we protest here to protect their BIPOC owned business. Uh, with that, just a little bit of background. We have seen so many people forced out of Burlington by powerful landlords and rent hikes. And if Hinsdale properties can raise their rent by 150%, then how long can any of us afford to actually stay here? Little Morocco Cafe has been here for five years now, bringing delicious food and Moroccan culture to the, this corner of the Old North End. Many of us were fed by them during the pandemic through the Everyone Eats program. Over 16 months, they served our most vulnerable friends thousands of meals. They have offered us all support in trying times, and so we're just here to repay some of that kindness. Last September, their landlord, landlord Hinsdale Properties, in this very building, told the Little Morocco staff that they did not want to rent to, quote, the likes of them. A few days ago, property manager Jacob Hinsdale, who has admitted the price he was charging was way over market value, decided to raise the rent for Little Morocco by 150%, from $2,000 to $5,000. After that, we found out today that the development review, we found out that today the development review board was supposed to meet, I think it got postponed or canceled or something like that, I'm not entirely sure, um, Anyway, the Development Review Board was supposed to be considering a new tenant for this location. I want to note that there's no ill will towards this prospective, prospective tenant. Mr. Nellis himself said that recently he only recently learned about this conflict and is dismayed about it. He said, it is a broken real estate system where there is an imbalance of power. This situation was unknown to me and it was never my intention to cause any tension or harm. The property manager, Jacob Hinsdale, is married to Senator Keisha Ram Hinsdale of Chittenden Southeast, the new chair of the Senate Committee on Economic Development, Housing, and General Affairs. She keeps a copy of The Color of Law, a book on housing policy and segregation in her committee room, prominently displayed for everyone to see. Ram Hinsdale recently said, I do highly encourage people who want to be part of this conversation to look at the history of how, Everything from local regulation to federal loan programs have been used to keep American dream, the American dream out of, people, of, of the hands of people of color in this country, particularly black Americans. Vermont has the fifth largest racial homeownership gap in this country. This statement, about home, this statement that she made about homeowners should also apply to the businesses that her husband leases to people, right? 
In closing, I will just repeat what our friends from Little Morocco have already said. Please know that we are observing the holy month of Ramadan, a month of tolerance, compassion, and giving, and as such, we would like to see words turn into action. Please stop by our restaurant and help drive up our food sales because we want to use those proceeds to cover legal expensive expenses when we go to court and most importantly, be able to cover the expansive cost of trying to move Little Morocco Cafe into a different location around town because we would like to be able to serve our community for many years to come. And again, they want to thank you for all of your overwhelming support. Anybody else want to say some stuff? It's okay. If not, we can also do like some just hanging out and chanting or whatever y'all want to do. Yeah. What up? All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Nick. Uh, I'm a chef at Single Pebble. I'm very nervous right now. Uh, I, I pulled up with my other friend, other cook. Uh, that's Luke over there. My friend's here. Um, so basically what I want to say is I'm not going to lie and say that I come to this restaurant every day or that I've been supporting it in really any financial capacity until yesterday for the past five years. I've seen uh, them on Instagram though. And uh, if anyone here works in restaurants, you might know it's a very busy life. And a lot of the times our schedule just allows us to appreciate things from afar. You know, it just is what it is uh, for I think since 2020, I've been seeing this restaurant do their thing, and I don't know, I've been loving it. I've been loving it. Uh, I care a lot about restaurant culture and the community that it creates. Um, and what I'm very upset by is the identity that this rent increase speaks to in Burlington, Burlington politicians, Burling Burlington, the Burlington wealthy, the Burlington landlords. Right across from City Hall is, to be honest, the only restaurant in Burlington I've gotten uh, pita, hummus. I mean, I was here yesterday, the smoked eggplants were really good, the dips. Um, I'm I apologize if I seem uh, like I don't know what I'm talking about with the food. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not trying to say I know all about Moroccan food. I really don't. But what I am saying is the one place I've gotten anything that resembles what I had here yesterday is a restaurant on Church Street directly across from City Hall, which from my perspective in the industry has gotten nothing but support from officials and the greater restaurant community as a whole. I know everyone who works at Honey Road. They're my friends and I love what they create, but it doesn't get created in a vacuum culturally. We're looking at an industry where Small family-owned independent restaurants cannot operate in this city. The representations of culture, heritage, different backgrounds are beginning to only be represented by the people owned and employed by multi-million dollar boards of investors. We do not see the people who own the restaurant I have gone to get pita from. We will never probably see the people walking these streets, being in the Old North End, serving families. 
We don't even know if they really live here. Is this the identity we want for Burlington? Do multi-million dollar boards of investors get to decide our identity? All right, that's all I got, I, you know. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Grace. I'm here from Burlington Tenants United. Um, oh, can you hear me? <laughs> um, hi, my name is Grace. I'm here on behalf of Burlington Tenants United. We're uh, an organization in Burlington that supports tenants of all kinds um, in Burlington and all of Vermont to fight landlord um, power and to fight against greed and oppression that landlords perpetrate on us every single day. As tenants, when landlords retaliate, we need to build our own power and capacity to act. Housing power that results mainly in real estate and the Hinsdale family landlord dynasty receiving more money and control over development is not the solution. Building our own class organization with our neighbors for our own defense and control over our homes is what we need. Landlords profit off of gentrification at the expense of our community. We all need places to live, to thrive, to raise our families and to run our businesses, but we do not need landlords. Thank you. Hey, hey, ho, ho, red phrases have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, red phrases have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, red phrases have got to go. J-U-L-I-E-M-A-C-U-G-A. They use she and they pronouns, and I'm from the Old North End. Um, and I saw that the rent price was going up by 150% and asked the folks at Little Morocco if having a presence here would be helpful to them, and they said yes, so um, they just got people to come. And uh, we're really just trying to do whatever we can to support this BIPOC owned business from getting priced out of Burlington. Like, the bin sales properties is to see this. Why do you want them to take away from shows? They shouldn't raise people's rent by 150%. Um, they should make this, if anything, they should be making this a more and more affordable place for people, especially um, people that are in marginalized communities, to be able to be here and share their culture. And so that we're not just gentrifying the whole place and pricing people out. Um, these folks have been um, really solid members of our community, especially during the pandemic when they were participating in the Everyone Eats program. Um, they served thousands of meals to people who needed them, and uh, we don't want them to go anywhere. Why is it important that these small family owned restaurants, yeah. especially with five pounds, are going to be more I think because it just brings so much more vitality to our communities. It brings us more perspectives. It brings us delicious food. Um, it just makes Burlington a much richer place to live and exist in. And I want it to be somewhere that I, Burlington's always saying that it's so welcoming, and I want it to actually be that way. Um, and this is a quieter part of town, and it's just it's really nice to be able to come somewhere like here and just feel like. I get to, you know, be transported to Morocco for a second. I don't, I don't know. It's just um, I'm running out of things to say. What are the concerns about possibly a bar moving 
Um, well, as I said earlier, there's not really any ill will toward the prospective tenant, um, but there are some concerns. I've heard rumors that there are concerns, at least among the development review board folks, that having a bar somewhere here, uh, particularly next to a place where children are learning, um, just wouldn't be ideal. It's a, and again, it's a quieter part of town. I think people, would, a lot of people who live here would like to keep it that way. Anything else to add? Anything you need to ask? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm Joy. I'm from Vermont Public. Um, so obviously this organized event. You, you organized it? Yeah. What comes next uh, for people who care about this issue? I don't... Well, this protest kind of came together in the past 48 or so hours uh, after a bunch of us found out about the rent increase. So everything happened kind of suddenly, and so I don't think I can really speak to that yet. Um, obviously, I want to take leadership from the folks who are running the restaurant and do whatever... Uh, whatever they want uh, to make whatever they want to have happen happen and do so um, respectfully and um, well the development review board was supposed to talk about this tonight and then I'm not sure exactly what's happening with that so um, I think it's kind of on Hinsdale now to you know respond and hopefully cancel this rent increase. In the meantime, there's a big ask for people to come and eat here. Yes. So that's a really great way to show support economically and also just uh, through actions. Uh, and there will probably be updates coming from them soon of other ways to support. But please, please eat the food. It's very good.